It's a dream come true. <laughs> Hello there, it is I, the Jordy Nerd, and I am back again with another episode of The Good Place. I really enjoyed the first episode of this. It was um, it was quite funny. Um, so I'm excited to see where it goes. So far, I like the main character, um, and oh, I can't remember her name. The robot lady. <laughs> the, the, that bear has two mouths. Just fantastic. Uh, so I'm excited to see how the, the characters develop. Um, if you'd like to see this unedited, the link will be down below for the Patreon. It is $1, uh, £1, cheap as I can get it. Um, and you you get a lot of stuff for that. So yeah, um, let's just get in this now and have some fun. And what do you do with sweat? Do you, do you lick it away, is that right? No, you dab it with a cloth. <laughs> oh, right. And then you lick the cloth? That seems weirder. <laughs> <laughs> Look. That's somehow better, apparently. What are you reading? The Metaphysics of Morals by Immanuel Kant. It's a treatise on the aesthetic preconditions of the mind's receptivity to duty. He's a bit of a boring Kant, isn't he? <laughs> oh god, I'm sorry. But I had to do it. Yeah, but he is quite boring though. I mean, I'm assuming he's gonna go through some changes and stuff and he'll grow as a character but but I suppose no but I suppose then he's in the good place for being so boring so I suppose every person who's literally fun will go to the bad place your favorite show is something called the real housewives of Atlanta and your favorite book is Kendall Jenner's Instagram feed <laughs> how did you know because you are constantly talking about your that's not a book and I mean it's that even worth looking at do you know what i mean she's so relatable oh my god i'm so relatable on my private chat <laughs> oh uh yes sorry for those of you who don't know my soulmate jianyu here is a buddhist monk he took a vow of silence that he's still observing even here in the good place it's truly inspiring well tahani it's not really your job to clean up but i suppose there's no harm if you really want to so she she seems like a person who loves a good conversation or, you know, to be centre of attention. So, being stuck with him, is that really something that she wants? Do you know what I mean? Like, it's the good place you should get our soulmate. How's our soulmate a guy who doesn't speak? Oh, I can't believe all these people are passing on flying to pick up garbage all day. <laughs> Have fun, nerds. I'll be soaring through the air like a fork and bird. <laughs> Eleanor and I would love to help. Oh, hurrah, hurrah. Yay. Dude. You want to prove your nest? Chidi Anaconda, you, you monster. But I've got to respect it. How goes the cleaning? Oh, swimmingly, Michael. And I have to say, this neighborhood that you've built is truly a masterpiece, the likes of which I've never seen. And I've been to Johnny Depp's private bird sanctuary. Well, thank you. That's very kind of you to say. But it's also dead wrong. This neighborhood is a disaster. So does she just like to brag about the things she's done with the people she's done it with? Soulmate, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Should we say it at the same time? All right, one, two, three. We must help Michael. Oh, you sly devil. Got to keep me on my toes, aren't you? All right, come on, let's go. <laughs> yeah, again, she doesn't look happy with her soulmate at all. So, what is going on? <laughs> so, it sounds to me like you are on board the Help Eleanor train. Well, I've narrowed it down to two possibilities. Yes and no. <laughs> As opposed to what other possibilities, Cheedy? I mean, come on, dude. Whose dog is that? See? This is one of those glitches I was talking about. So... You can't bring pets to heaven. Like, no, nah, I'm out, mate. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't, couldn't do that. <laughs> he just kicked the dog. <laughs> That's horrible. Oh, poor doggy. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> Oh no, it's raining trash. It. So again, because of her selfish actions, they're getting punished. 
I mean, it, I don't understand. Is it somebody doing this on purpose, like watching them? Maybe it's God or something. I don't know. It is merely a construct of a dog. It feels no pain or joy or love. Teacup doesn't love me. Oh. <laughs> oh, no, 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 it definitely feels love. Do you actually want a dog that loves you a little bit more? Because I can kick her right back into the sun and get you another one just like that. No. Oh, <laughs> oh God. Oh, well, that's good. That's good. That's that's brilliant. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's horrible. It's a dream come true. <laughs> oh, they're already dead, man. What in it? I'm like, oh, my God, she killed them. But no. We're already dead. <laughs> Ooh, Jesus. <laughs> no, Michael, you are a paragon of fortitude. You're a mountain of strength. I'm not a mountain of strength. I'm a canyon full of poo poo. <laughs> John, the architect of this neighborhood has just referred to himself as a canyon full of poo poo. That's definitely something I'm going to have to start saying to people. You're a canyon full of poo-poo. Feeling remorse about being wrong isn't as good as just doing something right, but it's a start. Yeah, she's, she's, she's growing as a person. That's what you want. I will help you try. Oh, wow, man, I swear I won't let you down. Hi there. I've collected the worst smelling garbage that I could find. <laughs> you still want me to dump it inside of Antonio's house? <laughs> what? No. Oh, God, that was so wrong. Oh, I was so wrong, and I've just put my head through Chidi's back. Oh my god, I was so wrong. Oh, crap on a cracker. Wow, okay. So this episode was definitely better than the first. Not that the first was bad, the first was brilliant. But this was way funnier. I love that everything just... Because she's in the wrong place, everything just falls apart around her. But I've also noticed... Um, I've forgotten her name. Um... Oh, the, the the posh British lady and um, a, a mute boyfriend. Like, she doesn't seem very happy either, though. That, that, that's what I'm... Maybe because it's uh, Michael's first time doing The Good Place, he's, he's obviously got some bugs in his system or, or whatever he said. Um, but, yeah, she doesn't seem that happy with with, with her mute soulmate. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm noticing, like, some tiny cracks... And again, with the dog, he didn't know that the dog was there. So, I mean, like you said, it's his first time. So, uh, he's obviously ironing out the kinks and stuff. But it's uh, it's a good show. But I have questions, as you already know, because I've just said them. Uh, but, yeah, um, please do keep the comments spoiler free. Uh, a lot of people have said, you know, like, avoid the spoilers. What I do is I get my girlfriend to read the comments uh, before me. And if it's spoiler heavy, she'll either delete it or tell us. Uh, not the spoiler, but, you know. Uh, so keep the, the comments spoiler free so then I get to read them all. Um, and, yeah, this episode was great. I loved he kicked the dog into the sun. That was hilarious, but also horrible. Poor bloody dog. Um, and the thing landed on the two guys, the two happy guys. Hilarious. And I genuinely thought, oh my god, they're dead. But, I mean, they already are. <laughs> but, yeah, this was great. Thank you very much for coming out to watch this. Uh, if you're new, drop a like and subscribe. I'll see you all again very soon for more The Good Place reaction videos.